It may seem a little early, but the beautiful white petals are on display in parts of northeast Wisconsin. Of course, we're talking about Door County tart cherry. They are gorgeous, and they were captured this morning at a cherry farm near Forestville. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has our story. Some may say it's a sea of white as far as the eye can see. What they call it is first white, and you can see the tips are just starting to open a little. That probably was a week ago already. Melody Cherry Farm owner Tom Selvick says the growing season at this 40-acre parcel north of Forestville is a little ahead of schedule. He says blossoms really started to open on Friday. It was pretty mild winter. And did that have an impact on the trees at all? Or are they not okay? that I can tell. Okay. Uh, you know, not that I can tell. So uh, we were a little worried uh, in February. We were getting some real warm stuff and. But, you know, those are one of those things you can't do anything about it. The cherry trees at this orchard share the space with dandelions. Selvik says bees help the pollination process. Well, everything I've always known was they're attracted to the color yellow, and it's the first thing that blooms in the spring, and uh, there's way more nectar in those blossoms, so... <laughs> If they come in for the dandelions, they're going up to the blossoms. Selvik says he plans to cut the dandelions and grass next week. He says he hopes it's a good cherry crop, which is expected in about 60 days. This is one of the farthest south orchards. Yeah. So as you start creeping up farther north in Door County, it's a little cooler, but they're not f that far behind. So I'm guessing they're showing white now, too. In Door County, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Tart cherries are big business in Door County. Tourism officials say the region typically produces between 8 and 15 million pounds of the fruit each year. All right, are you ready? Yep. Okay, Tom Selvick, right? And That's right. Melody. Melody Cherry Farm. Got it. Uh, oh, you sent me a text the other day. Uh, I've been kind of looking around. It looks like, uh, are we getting close to the cherry See, cherry blossom season? Uh, we're probably 25% out right now. Some trees like this, probably 50%, but it'll go, my guess, with some rain tomorrow and then some fairly nice weather. It'll go another week, and then it'll start working its way up the county, too. So yeah. next weekend, I'm, you know, these should still look pretty good. When did you first start to bloom? Uh, when can we say you first started? Well, awesome. they what they call it is first white, and you can see the tips are just starting to open a little. That probably was a week ago already. Okay. Yeah, about a week. Is that early or? Well, it, it this crop has a tendency to catch up and slow, or even slow down. You know, depending on what the weather does, you get some real hot weather, things progress pretty quick. So I think we're a little ahead yet. We're a little ahead. Okay. Not much. And we had a lot of um, up here, the, the winter wasn't much. I mean, how did that no. impact what you guys well, were doing? Well, a tremendous, I have a tremendous amount of buds that, you know, there was some damage on the, the I think it was the 23rd, 24th, 25th. We had some cold weather in April. Uh, there's some damage here, but not, not enough that I think is going to affect the crop. Uh, a huge crop, if I got 5% of these that turn into cherries, there'd be trees breaking down. There's that many blossoms. You know? uh -huh. Yeah. So th this year, bumper crop, or uh, what should we say? Well, I'll tell you at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to you in July. Yeah, right. But so far, so good. Yeah, so far, yeah, yeah. Okay. So far. And then, But you said we're, we're still pretty early on. You said uh, the timeline for blooming here is still... Yeah, well, see, this is one of the farthest south orchards. Yeah. So as you start creeping up farther north in Door County, it's a little cooler, but they're not f that far behind. So I'm guessing they're showing white now too. Hmm. That's my guess. What is it about this time of year? Uh, does it bring on a lot of people? Is it is it a fun time for, uh, I know it's gotta be a lot of work for you, but I mean, is, yeah. uh, is it a neat time? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, I've been in it all my life and it's uh, you know, something you kind of get used to. And But it, I get six months of it and then my wife and I, we take a break. <laughs> Yeah, so. All right. Not because I, I can remember last year I did a blossom story and it had to have been the third week or so of May. And we're May, what is this, May 6th? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, was that after the blossom or I don't even remember. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it, it does know. vary. Okay. It does vary. You know, I was, uh, 
uh, I was a school teacher and uh, I always would help with harvest and stuff. And uh, I sometimes would have to go back to teaching and we were still shaking and that's the end of August, oh. you know. So, I mean, it, it varies a lot. It varies a lot. Okay. And then how, do the, how does the crop look right now? I mean, you know, you're pointing out the, um, <clears throat> the petals and stuff. I mean, how, how, how does the block look? <clears throat> well, that, to me, the way they're shaping up right now, they look pretty good. But the, it's hard to tell when you get a cold like we had on the 23rd, 24th, 25th. You don't know, quite know how much damage really happened to these because they'll have a tendency to look like they're on the tree and then something called June drop happens and they fall off. Mm. So, but my assessment of what they look like right now, they look good. Okay. Yeah. Right. Above average crop, can I say, or average? Or? Yeah, I couldn't even begin. You guys to, love to be cautiously optimistic. I couldn't, you know, I've been in it so many years, I don't know how I could answer that question yeah. okay. until the end. But so far, so good. Yeah, yeah, so far. All right. Yeah. And these, and what's your acreage here again? How many? How many? There's 40 acres here, but we've had some you know, huge storms that took out a lot of trees a couple of years ago, and you know, it's just it's just the way this this uh, business is. You know, you you uh, you try to save your trees, but you know, some winters, you know, you'll get cracks all over them because they got too warm and they they sweat inside, and then it freezes at night and they crack again and but it's the way it is. And then how did you get through the winter here? Did you have um, not just the spring, but, I mean, how did the winter treat you guys up here? We didn't have a lot of snow, you know. Uh, the, the bay in Sturgeon Bay even, uh, I, I don't think it was frozen more than two, three weeks, and then the ice broke up even on that. Yeah. So it was it was pretty mild winter. And did that have an impact on the trees at all, or are they Not okay? that I can tell, okay. uh, you know, not that I can tell. So uh, we were a little worried uh, in February, we were getting some real warm stuff. and But, you know, those are one of those things, you can't do anything about it, you yeah. know. Like you said, you can only worry about what you can do. Yeah, about. exactly, yeah. So. Okay. Anything else you want to add about this? Or no, the I just, know? well, uh, we'll have our pick your season, season going, and I hope you come and see us. All righty.